For the first time since 2014, Indiana State will compete in the NCAA tournament, but this was expected. Yeah, no, coming back in the fall, um, for me coming back this year, uh, my expectation was to be able to play in the postseason. And now that it's here, um, it's a really amazing feeling. And you can see guys, it's not about who's playing or who's not playing or anything like that. It's a collective group together uh, that wants each other to do well, and that's really special for us. Oh, man, it means a lot. I mean, every year we put in a lot of work and we've come up short, and it feels really good to finally be here. And, like, and you know, guys are banged up right now. I mean, everybody has guys banged up, but we got guys like Jake who pops a finger out, and he wants to be here so bad that he's still playing and grinding for us. Like, that's just the kind of team mentality that we have. And it's nice to have some time to take a deep breath after an emotional week with six games in four days. We said after uh, the doubleheader on Saturday, whatever, we said, let's go to the regionals right now. Let's play our third game today. Uh, you know, that was a little bit of a joke because we were gassed. But uh, we were ready to go right then and there. We're ready to go right now. Um, I mean, it was nice to kind of rest a little bit because, you know, six games in how many days? Four? Four days. You know, that's just tough on the bodies. But uh, we're ready right now. Uh, we have been. So, like I said, let's get it going. Polly will tow the rubber tomorrow for Indiana State as he has entered the sixth inning now in 14 consecutive starts, and he's ready for that moment to take Hawkins Field with the red lace ball in his hand. Yeah, no, there's nobody else whose ball I would want the hand in. Um, of course, going out there every Friday night, that's been my job, is to set the tone, and I'm going to set the tone tomorrow. There were two candidates for the most valuable player in the Missouri Valley Conference Baseball Tournament, C.J. Huntley and Chris Ayers, both combining for 15 hits, four home runs, and 17 RBI. But they want to make this week memorable too and keep on the pace they've been on for the last week. I'm just going to stay at it, what I was thinking about, uh, you know, last weekend. Uh, keep thinking about for the fans. Robbie's back there laughing at me, you know, as I say that. But um, hey, hey, hey. stay in my approach. Uh, I think if I do that, I can keep it going. You know, keep last weekend, extend it into this weekend, hopefully next weekend. So I think that'll be key. Uh, just stay short to the ball, have a good approach, um, kind of know what the pitcher's going to throw, what counts are coming, and then just having a good idea of everything that's going on and staying locked in for the most part. Indiana State has only won its first game in the NCAA tournament twice, 2-8 and eight in 10 all-time first games in the NCAA tournament. The last time Indiana State won a first-round game was 1986. I'll leave you on that note. For more on Indiana State's weekend in Nashville, stay right here at GoSycamores.com.